With 50 years of solar system exploration under our belts, each new discovery raises more questions than answers. So, what's next? NASA will continue to raise the bar as it further expands our understanding of the solar system around us as well as our place within it. We have flown by, we've orbited, we've landed, we've roved, and we have returned samples. We have come so far in our understanding, and yet we have so far to go. There's so many questions we don't have answers to yet. Can you imagine if we never explored where we would be as a species? I think we explore because it's in our bones. I think it's something that humans were born to do. I think we explore because we're alive. I think it is the nature of life to explore. Humans are just naturally curious. We always want to know more. And I think that every time we do a mission, instead of answering all of our questions, it actually opens up more questions to us. And in fact, there's a major realization going on now that the solar system is still evolving. It's still changing in major ways. And it turns out that we continue to learn things about our own planet by looking at the other planets. We look at Venus, one of our nearest neighbors, and that has profound implications for climate change, for the greenhouse effect. Understanding about chlorofluorocarbons and their role in ozone destruction actually came out of the planetary program trying to understand what exactly was going on with the upper atmosphere of Venus. The things we learn about Titan and its atmosphere are having strong influences on how we understand Earth's atmosphere evolved. The Earth is an incredibly special place. And the more we study these other planets, the more I think we appreciate how really special the Earth is. For me, I think uh, exploration boils down to one thing, our, our curiosity, you know, the ultimate question. Are we really alone here? I know I don't want to be. How do we detect the fingerprints of biology off planet Earth on really tough places. Whether we're looking for life in the sedimentary layers on Mars or in the oceans of Europa or trying to find the pale blue dots around other stars. Is there life beyond Earth? And to understand that we have to understand how the origin and evolution of the solar system has got us to where we are today. Everywhere we turn the solar system is trying to tell us you know, if you think you got it all figured out, you better think again. All of this eventually informs us about where the, this little blue dot that we live on came from. And that's what all of this is all about. It took over 60 years to go from the Wright brothers' first powered flight to landing humans on the moon. And in just 50 years, we've gone from the first successful planetary mission to the Voyager spacecraft reaching the very outer edges of our solar system. Now imagine what's possible in the next 50 years. That's right. Well, that's it for today. I'm Molly McKinney. And I'm Caleb Kinchlow. Thanks for watching NASA 360 Presents, I Love the Solar System.